Etsy is a wondrous, but also a very weird place. And we've scoured it for a bunch of custom-made accessories for the Switch, as well as a little bit for the Xbox and the PlayStation, and bring you guys a collection of them, some of which are cool, some are functional, and some are just a bit crazy. First off is this little guy right here, question block, that holds a little plant. So this is celebrating, of course, the Mario series, question blocks are in all the games. They give you coins, power-ups, one-ups, but of course, in some games, especially Super Mario World, little plants you can crawl up. So we put this little guy in here right there. Now, to be honest, this thing was actually advertised with a picture of a succulent, which will fit perfectly in there. And we didn't know this, which is really cool. They actually sent you one. We just didn't know that, so we didn't open the package right away. And well, I'm sorry, little guy. Now, of course, no custom-made accessory video would be complete without something you can put a Joy-Con into. And that's why we grabbed these nice, family-friendly combat no I don't know why these exist. Why is this even on the internet? How can I buy- How did this come in shipping? How did no one question that we were able to buy a bladed item to put a Joy-Con into? I mean, to be honest, it actually isn't that sharp. You can just do that fine. But the point is, the little, little crazy of a thing you can buy. Like, you know, you could definitely play some games in it. I just wouldn't recommend doing any kind of, you know, motion intense game at a party. Now, what is probably the most intricate thing we picked up off of Etsy is this special customized dock that is based on the ship from Super Mario Odyssey. A nice little touch, by the way, on this thing is that you actually have a little pad where you can put any amiibo of your choice. Obviously, we had to go with the Mario from Mario Odyssey. Now, an interesting thing about this dock is that it's actually not a dock at all. It doesn't have any of the electrical parts inside of it that make the dock work. Instead, it actually just has a USB-C extension cable, which you then have to plug into the regular Switch dock, which if you want to make things a little easier, you can pick up one of those little portable docks that would work better in this situation, because when you're using the Nintendo dock, what ends up happening is it has this kind of box design here that you can see. I don't want to rip it out because it's going to mess everything up, but basically you have to plug it in and make sure that it has just enough tension to where the USB-C cable is staying plugged inside. So it's a little bit of a convoluted setup, but if you're able to build up something around it, it's actually pretty cool looking. Now, if that dock's a little bit too much for you, something that's a little more low-key you can grab that we found were these little pipes that act as a stand for the Switch's main body. Now, obviously, this doesn't act as a dock in and of itself. You'd have to use maybe a portable dock to plug into the bottom, or this is the perfect way to actually play a tabletop mode instead of having to use the Switch's kickstand, which, in case you haven't seen enough of my videos yet, I utterly hate. So, great alternative for that. Now, don't worry, it's not all Nintendo stuff. We got a little bit of PlayStation and Xbox going on as well. Something we got for the PlayStation was this PSVR stand, which is really cool. Now, the thing is, you may have noticed a lot of these products are all, well, just 3D printed with varying degrees of care taken to actually clean them up afterwards. And I gotta say, this VR stand was one of the better ones, except for the fact that it actually came in pieces. So it sounded like something cracked, but visually it's okay. Yeah, well you know, it's, 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 it's a good looking stand. It smells like burning plastic right now. So we actually had to screw this and put this together ourselves, but once it's together, it's pretty good looking. And I think it's a really cool way to display the VR with the PlayStation symbols. Now, as for Xbox, something that we've messed with before is having wall-mounted setups, which they do make more simple hooks for controllers, where it's just a little kind of black thing that the controller sits on and is very subtle. But if you want something with a little more style and flavor to it, we found this one that actually features the Xbox logo and goes really, really well with the gray and green Xbox One controller. But of course, a lot of the different designs look good up on there. So no matter what, either way, great display piece.